power supplies are dangerous. Don't do a dumb and die. But damn it, I've been lucky this far, and this Sega Saturn's power supply makes funny noises that I don't like. Take my word for it, there is a Saturn in there. There it is. And it has a strange yet relatively common issue that it's had since the day I got it. To show you I'll have to play a game or two for a bit because time is what this issue needs before it begins. Here we go, see that? The screen's got horizontal lines all over the place after turning it off and on again. And it stops reading discs. Not cool. Another thing is a noise that the Saturn makes that seems to correspond to these lines. I'll bring it down here so you can hear it with a microphone I've attached to the camera. An old 60s Sony mic from a reel-to-reel -reel deck. Well, it's definitely in the power supply area, and it seems to correspond to the disk drive as the sound reacts to the blinking access LED. Five screws later, we can get a better look and try to narrow down the precise location of the noise. It sounds like it's got bees. Okay, so first things first, what is all this stuff? I honestly have no idea, but I'm gonna call this the yellow box. When I research this issue, I usually come across this image. So I went searching for its source, and it doesn't take me long to come across this article. This person from 9 years ago had the same issue as mine, and what they did was solder in a 10 volt 2200 microfarad capacitor in this location, marked in green. And while it worked as a solution, it didn't help to find out what the actual problem was. They said it could be the TOP202YAI, rolls off the tongue, and that does get hot, and it's really close to the source of the buzzing. I think there are modern replacements, but we'll look into that if this capacitor idea doesn't work out. Speaking of which, I've got to order one. Good thing RS components have very fast postage. So according to the image, the negative end goes through this wire, while the positive end gets connected to the bottom right pin of this NEC2561. What does that do? No idea! Alas, I am nervous. So I followed the image to exactly what I could see, and other people have done it and it's worked fine for them, but I'm still really nervous, I kind of don't want to plug it in. It's, it's a scary thing to deal with, power supplies. I actually had one melt on me quite recently for a Wi-Fi router, but that's another thing. <sighs> and look. Relief for now. Nothing's exploded. Whew. 
Yes! Look at that! I mean, it was doing that before, but the fact that the power supply still works after that tampering with it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. The point is to see if it still does the weird fuzzy, buzzy, wiggly thing. I'll put the cover back on, leave it on for maybe half an hour, turn it off and on again, then see what happens. Until then. Excuse me. There you go. No. All right. So it's been on for about an hour or two, I think. That should be enough time for it to normally start doing the buzzy thing. But I guess now we'll find out if it still does that. Okay, it's off. And back on. Heck yeah, that worked. Well, I guess this is for those people that have been searching the internet for days trying to find a solution. Um, yes, confirmed, this works to fix the weird, buzzy, wibbly-wobbly issue. True, at least, for this particular power supply. There are a few variations of certain PSUs, and how they differ could determine whether this process is for you. Actually, I just remembered, if you can't fix your own original PSU, there are people making more modern versions of them with modern parts, so they're safer, more economic, and tiny. Another few hours later, we're still going strong. I'm also thinking it could be an issue related to heat, because I had a lot, I had a much harder time replicating the issue with the lid off. When the lid is on, it does, it used to do it pretty much every time, but with the lid off, not quite. So I did it. I made another video. Oh, and I fixed my satin's power supply. That's kind of cool. Well, time will tell how long this will last, but I haven't heard bad things from this illusion yet. If you enjoyed this to any capacity and if I helped anyone, that's awesome. I'll keep making videos, whatever they end up being and whenever they come out, and hopefully they're enjoyed too. But for now and as always, I'll be back in 16 bits. Alright guys. Today I'm going to be pranking my pro, he's just in the room over there and he's sleeping, so uh, I've got to make this great. Alright, here we go guys, it's going to be hilarious.